Hello and fuck cape shit. Welcome to another episode of Shady Web Comics Weekly, brought to you by our subscribe star backers. Link below, check it out for extra bonus videos that you're not allowed to look at otherwise. Uh, continuing with what should be the final part of uh, STBR month, which has now become jan- it's fucking gone from uh, uh, June to July, so it's it's STBR months and uh, an official part of White Boy Summer, of course. You know that's that's normal. Speaking of White uh, Boy Summer, best summer. <laughs> it's so good. It's delightful. Finally, a good reason to have summer. Something good, positive about summer, aside from the shitty weather. But anyways, um, so just jumping right into it, uh, the fucking, this one, horrifying funny, is for the, dura- is Light Tenant Commander saying, for the duration of this mission, the Prime Directive is rescinded, and it's just like, evil demon face wearing a fucking, uh, uh, <laughs> wearing an ensign uniform. Or with uh-huh. the, the Ensign Pip on the fucking uh, uh, Enterprise, or uh, Star Trek, or Federa- Federation uniform. It's just, the Prime Directives rescinded, that means we can do whatever the fuck we... Just phasering butterflies and shit. Preventing our own births. That kind of shit. <laughs> Thanks, Prime Directive. I mean, fuck it. I mean, granted that they didn't say the temporal Prime Directive, but hey, I mean... Is there a difference anymore once you get well, far enough into the future? That was one thing I liked about Voyager, was they go into the, the episode where Dutch from The Shield shows up um, to be uh, uh, as, as one of the Federation time cops. Their uniforms are just shit in that, but, um, but it's still funny that it's like, okay, th- that far into the future, the Federation has time cops. And they're like, uh, you know, fucking... Janeway, she's causing a lot of problems, but we're going to recruit her because there's something going on with it. And it turns out it's one of the other time cops went insane from how much Voyager is just ruining history and ruining time, the timeline. I'm ruining. Yes. And it's like, can you blame him? Was he, wasn't he? was he kind of justified in trying to destroy Voyager? I almost feel like that was a fan a reaction to the fans who wanted the Voyager to be blown up before it even left space dock. It's like, gee, if only. If only it was blown up before it left space dock, we wouldn't have had Threshold or Twisted or fucking Conundrum 2. Or, oh, wait, no, no not that. <laughs> or uh, Descent. No, wait, not that. But uh, still... The, um, yeah, that, uh, here's what I, j- I just opened up, though, because this is so good, I just wanted to look at it again, as the fucking SS uniform, the, the guy, uh, Nazi, just smiling and really enjoying himself with fucking Captain Archer, and Captain Archer oh, just looks God. kind of annoyed. <laughs> just classic. He's having a good, he's such a happy Nazi. It's, it's a sunny day, it's lovely out. It's probably Just. as nice it is, as it usually is in Germany. Beautiful country. Um, here's, uh, here's I think, just fucking basically going into the news. So I ran out of content and just going into the stuff from today that I linked. But um, it goes to show, like, over the past several weeks, it's just been funny tweets, uh, uh, funny sounds, provocative tweets, uh, all the time, consistently. That's why it, uh, it's good to follow these guys. And that's why also, like I said, I think I mentioned this in way too many videos now, but I said that, um, I wanted, that I wanted to kind of do a video about this, the same way we did a video about uh, a new guy back in 2020, about like the hottest, freshest new meme. When I first saw STBR like a couple years ago, I was like, let's do, we should do a video about this, but... Um, I didn't because uh, it's just a lot of stuff where it's like, oh, I don't want to do videos. I don't feel like it. What are we doing? Why am I doing this? That kind of shit. Um, and lately we've, re- that was before we even started doing like the Shady Web Comics Weekly and uh, basically made a paywall, which has actually helped us a lot. The the pay, pay paywall has been incredibly beneficial to us um, because now we get money for doing videos in a way where a lot of people have wanted us to uh, be prevented from being monetized. Uh, I guess we kind of get around that now, which is quite nice. Um, 
But anyways, just going to the uh, next one from, I think it was from today, June 2nd. That's today. Um, but it's from uh, Florida Man Tucker saying, You want to know what I think? Give me a second while I locate a screen cap from the exact season, episode, scene, and line of dialogue that matches how I feel. And it's fucking, and then showing Tucker, of course, doing that, apparently doing that. Um, I always liked, too, how um, Enterprise, taking place much further in the past, still has, like, flat screens. But they're, like, thicker flat screens than we even have in modern technology now. But it's, like, uh, it, it's funny because the fucking, just the all the old CRTs from old Star Trek, uh, not aged well, but still, whatevs. Um, Enterprise. Enterprise, uh, I've, just to pad out this episode a little bit longer. It can't hurt to pad out the episode. But Enterprise always, um, it was like when it started airing, I was like, eh, I'm not going to watch that. I, I don't like prequel shows usually for anything. It's like, yeah, really, no, yeah. what's what story are you going to fucking infresh on? What, what are we going to really learn that we needed to know? I'd rather watch something that takes place after DS9 or something. Or even after Nemesis, I guess. I don't fucking know. But um, as long as it was good. I mean, if Enterprise was good. And again, Enterprise started off and a lot of people were like, no, not very good or something. And I don't know. I, I watched a few of the early Enterprise episodes. And uh, like, I thought Broken Bow was okay. But um, it was like, how much, you know, the, the appeal of that, how, how much is that going to last? Yeah. Um, and then it's like also, you know, the, the temporal cold war with time traveling aliens that can squish themselves through doors or some shit. And that kind of went nowhere, ultimately, too. It was resolved in the Space Nazis episode and like the beginning of season five without even much explanation. It's like, whatever, fine, just get rid of it. It's solved. Good. Okay. Bye. Um, but to, to make space in a way, uh, to make a safe space, if you will, for way better Enterprise episodes. Um, yeah, the, um, the last season of Enterprise. I was fully watch. I was fully on board and watching uh, with the last season of Enterprise, and I was really enjoying that. Um, and the Zindi season of Enterprise, um, can pretty consistently good, with a few duds. Carpenter Street, I remember being just really dumb. But um, there were even, like, some weird standout episodes, like the one where uh, Archer wakes up 20 years later, and it's like the Zindi basically won because he lost his memory, you know, right when they needed him and, and that kind of thing. And so they're just on the run, and they're like, it's a metaphasic virus that's preventing your memories, and if we can cure it now, though, it will restore your memories back in the past, which is... Kind of a bizarre concept. Almost, almost sounds sounds like it's, they're putting in the Voyager reset button right away, but um, but I still appreciated that. I thought that was a pretty good episode, actually. Um, but yeah, Enterprise. It's it's funny because that was the crappy Star Trek show until you know again, as we mentioned, just fucking. We thought that was as bad as Star Trek could get, and it's like, oh oh no. We had no idea how spoiled we were. Yeah, we were we were spoiled with Enterprise. Like Enterprise at its worst. Be, I mean, Enterprise at its worst was pretty shitty. The same way, like TNG. Like if you didn't count the first two seasons of TNG, if you kept only yeah, the good Enterprise episodes, was pretty bad. It was at least as bad as like an average episode of Discovery. Yeah, fucking uh, Voyager. Um, like, bad episodes of Voyager... Bad episodes of Voyager were usually just kind of there. Bad episodes of TNG, again, not counting the first two seasons, were just kind of there. Um, bad episodes of DS9... I, I don't know, because I remember thinking, like, any time they focused just on the Ferengis... I know it's kind of sacrilegious to say now, especially right now, but, like, any time that was just the Ferengis, like, do I want to watch this? Sort of like... um. When an ep uh, episode of TNG was just about the Klingons, I was like, "Do I want to watch just just the Klingons do their?" But I mean, it meant a chance to see Gowron, so at least that's fucking worth it. Um, and now it's like, yeah, I would take any of those episodes. I would watch fucking 
uh, uh, 300 of those episodes in a row than watch even one episode of Discovery or or, uh, or Picard. Uh, again, like I watched that ep- that final episode of season one of Picard, and it was it was a fucking mess of shit that's clearly not even remotely Star Trek because. Star Trek, like if you had giant space flowers going into space to block Romulan disruptors from ships and shit, there would at least be an explanation of like, okay, where do we get the mass for these flowers? That that ha- there has to be some kind of explanation for that. Where are these things coming it's from? Good, yeah, it's a good uh, all the stuff about storytelling. It's a good opportunity yeah. to tell your story. There would be just like we don't have one. There would be a logical explanation that can at least be bullshitted up with some techno babble. But instead, with new Trek, uh, this started with the um, I think it was the was it the twenty was it twenty eleven was when the the new rebooted movie came out or was that 2008 2009 or nine yeah that it started with the red matter and everything became the red this and and the the red signal is coming out the red to, angel yeah the red signal of the red angel it all all the fucking descriptions of things just became like babby's first techno shit fucking it just like anything they don't tell from the people who said that they liked it how bad it was yeah the, but it's so feminist empowering. Sounds like shit. But also, it's it's clearly some kind of attempt at being like, well, it's we're getting rid of the techno babble, so things make sense to a wider, broader audience. And it's like the techno babble didn't do that. The techno babble didn't make sense to Star Trek fans. It was just a way to explain a thing that was happening. And it was a, yeah, it was a story conceit and justification. And the thing That's is all that. It was. Like the Battlestar Galactica remake uh, didn't have the techno. They got rid of the techno babble for that, but they didn't replace it with like the red signal. It's a fit, you know, the, the 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 space faith has become uh, uh, seen by all of the galaxy simultaneously. It's like, hold on a second. Star Trek is antithetical to that because Star Trek is about stuff that has to at least make some sense. On a, at least a techno, there has to at least be a techno babble explanation for it. There has to at least be that little bit of it. In even fucking, um, you know, Voyager and Enterprise at their worst would still do that because it was the point was technology was advanced, so therefore the advanced technology could do some other things. And instead of that, in New Trek. There is no technology. All of it's just magic. It's it's Star Wars. They wanted Star Trek to be Star Wars, so they, they just added Star, Star Wars Trek. explanations to it. They wanted to make Star Wars because Star Wars is for idiots. Yes, for gay loser nerds. Which yeah. uh, well, this is like it's like the I've never seen Star Wars guy. Who uh, he got banned too, by the way. That's also tragic. Uh, no uh, shit. That Cobra. T- it's tragic, but also at the same time, it might be more tragic if he hadn't been banned. Yeah, because guess. that would mean he was fucking. That mean you, storm groin. Yeah, it would mean that he was too safe, and it's like, yeah, you gotta fucking really be banned. And speaking of which, it goes to another thing. tweet from today that I really liked. Was Manlet Thorin posts this Star Wars fans after you run them over with your car, and it's just some wrestler saying. Oh God, I can't feel my oh, that's from uh, uh, Spider Man. Is this really the? Sp- oh, that's right. It was Spider-Man. the guy before yeah. Spider Man goes that's into the, the very room. first thing where he's doing the wrestling fight. That's a cute <laughs> top. Does your husband give it to you? Be- but yeah, that that was the ultimate Sigma male move. Become homophobic. Wow, remember when Spider Man was good? And I replied to that with just a fan of anything, and and it's like a Doctor Manhattan is a gun. <laughs> he replies, and vaporizing somebody. Yes, uh, vaporizing Rorschach with, with the power of Agon. But uh, yeah, Man with Thorn replies to that just with uh, fucking. It's uh, Uncle Ben dying, but he's saying, "Kill them all, Peter." <laughs> Which fucking <laughs> wow. Uncle Ben wants them dead. I reply to that saying, "If or when I ever kill anyone, I'll use this image macro as my justification." Dark manlet phase. Dark Thorin mode Disney Plus subscribers are no longer safe. <laughs> but also, Lamau, why is this true, though? And Manlet Thorin says, Beta soy 
Soy Wars fans can't handle a 2,000 pound vehicle hitting them at 70 miles per hour. <laughs> La Mau. Losers. La Mau. Anyways, um. <laughs> the male at Thorin. La Mau. La Mau. But uh, also, <laughs> he made another tweet, same day, saying, Co work, that's my co worker, that's my lunch, you can't eat that. Me is your name on it. Co worker, um, no. And then me. And then it is forfeit. For, and for some reason, a picture of Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. I don't know why. I'm not sure what Dave that means. Dave Mustaine from Megadeth in the movie uh, fucking uh, Army of Darkness. Hours. He was in, uh, I think this is from uh, uh, season eight of Game of Thrones. Pretty sure. That's <laughs> absolutely Game of the Totally Game of Thrones. <laughs> Co worker in the break room watching Manlet Thorn eat his lunch and just fucking enjoying a bunch of food. Delicious. Delicious. Enjoy. Delicious. Enjoy <laughs> your food. Co-worker, I'm reporting you to HR. Me after to strike their workstation with a sledgehammer. I'd like to see them try. <laughs> Here's what I, This actually is from Game of Thrones. Oops, did I admit that the previous one wasn't? Anyways. Um, here's a, a con con colonizer archer Daka Daka 1 saying I got my old account permanently suspended because of some copyright bullshit. As much as I'd like to blame someone, I ain't gonna lie. I'd mute your memes before posting them from now on. And it's like, uh, here's a status. For all my Euro poor followers, I'm honestly probably poorer, lol. And then a video, maybe? I don't know. But it said it was removed from your account in response to the DMCA takedown notice. Copy it in the bottom of this email. We await your response. Yours faithfully, Melissa Morgia, Director of Content Protection and Enforcement, IFPI Third Floor. I don't even know what the fuck this is about. How is this? What is this about? Yeah, how how's that? How's that working? <laughs> well, I'm sure it is. IFPI University of Oxford, Melissa Morgia, uh, London, England. She looks Asian. I wish I could say I was surprised, but unfortunately, I'm sure this is exactly how. They're trying to bend their own rules to fuck over the people yeah. who made the, the website even remotely interesting. Hey, he the replies to that saying... The only here on Twitter is to read the fucking STBR accounts. Uh, Nobody gives a shit. Colonizer Archer replies to the screen cap of her account saying, Woman moment. <laughs> Thank because you. Because everything, everything is always a woman moment. One way or another, it always... Becomes a woman moment. Someone else replying, thanks for your information message, Cyber Digital Help Desk on Instagram. He will help you with your, uh, it's one of those fucking, one of those bot accounts that's yeah, like, just leather. check out this and we'll have, we'll hack your information. But just to go to show that he hasn't missed a step also from today with his uh, new, nice, fresh account. That has existed for a while, so it's not ban evasion because this account has existed. But it's uh, e girls once they hit thirty, and it's fucking F Murray Abraham in uh, insurrection getting his fucking face <laughs> pulled back like in Brazil. Fucking classic, uh, classic, classic, classic N word. <laughs> Here's another one though from Florida man Tucker, and it's a bunch of it's a bunch of rock salt on the ground with a fucking tricorder held up to it and bones. Saying it's been stepped on, Jim. <laughs> it's fucking either crack or meth or literal bath salts, perhaps literal salts. This was the salt vampire episode, wasn't it? I don't know. I have no idea. A nice fresh. Also, he wants to make sure the captain's not taking any fucking stepped on crack. Yeah. Any any crack that's only, been cut. Only the already. purest crack for fucking Captain Kirk. Jim Kirk. Jim Kirk only settles for the best crack. But when you see him screaming, I have Captain Kirk, that's that's <laughs> fucking him on the good shit. The good shit. Here's fucking Doomer Armors posted, I guess a picture of fucking number one or something? I don't know. One of the chicks. The, the cute blonde girl. Cute blonde lady is number one from, uh, from uh, the cage, right? I think so. Probably. 
But colonizer Archer quote retweeting and saying, Adam, I thought I could turn these apples into an amazing pie. Some talking snake said it would be Kino. It's very, very YouTuber of her. So fucking believing what some fucking YouTuber tells her. That's pretty much anyone who listens to YouTubers these days. We're not YouTubers, of course. Yeah, no. We're exempt. We're superior. We're uh, ascended uh, master race, you know, you could say. Definitely. Uh, genetically different. Genetically above the over. Elevated. Over. Yeah, ge- we're genetically over people who listen to uh, YouTube, you know, your usual YouTube streamer type. And VTubers. VTubers that, are yeah. also kind of annoying. VTubers, though, better, uh, usually. Better than 3D. On average. Better than 3D, PD. Better than some fucking jerk off on fucking youtube telling you about how he's he's actually very based on red pilled he's very based on red pilled now pay him money to uh fucking complain about fucking celebrities and listen on the internet. well more importantly listen to his african-american friend sit next to his wife while they have a three-hour stream about how based on red pill they are um man Thorin posting today fucking in fact only Maybe an hour or two ago. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, uh, Patrick Bateman sitting back with his headphones, really enjoying himself, and so booting up Windows XP and copy-pasting the entire script for Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy into Microsoft Sam. <laughs> Sounds delightful. Sounds charming. I don't know what Microsoft Sam It was a text-to-voice. Oh, okay. Or text-to-speech. But it was that really robot It was the most robot computer voice. Um... Here also, the fucking Star Wars fans after you sent them a present from Alt-Right Barclay, Star Wars fans after you sent them a present in the mail, it's fucking Ben Stiller's hands fucking blown up to shit into sliced up hot dogs from uh, Tropic Thunder, which I just, uh, I was re-watching some of that recently, because it's free on YouTube, Tropic Thunder's free on YouTube right now, it's fucking crazy, free with ads. Free with ads, free with ads, and then we use a Brave browser, so in other words, it's just Free. free, just completely free. Um, or I guess possibly if you pay for YouTube Premium, which uh, I'm not going no. to. Our, I will not. Our sister was saying, oh, I use YouTube Premium. It's like, do you have a specific reason for that? Because Brave will just block all the ads. She's like, what? It's like, what? shit, I thought you would know this better than we would, but whatever. Um, what? But uh, Altright Barkley actually mentioned fucking, uh, you know, that he could. If, he asked if I had a P.O. box. I kind of wish we did, because then I could just give him that. Yeah. I guess maybe we should get one. But, well, we have some justification, certainly. But um, We're going to look into options for this. But the options are your choices. Anyways, yeah, I said, uh, in reply to this, though, the present in the mail, I said, that reminds me, I should give you my personal home address. And he's, he replies saying, I sent out the best care packages, and it's fucking a bunch of stickers of cans of Dr. Thunder. And it's like... Uh, <laughs> It's Neelix, but with other Talaxians, and it says family with a heart and, and stuff, and then fucking... It's about family, which is what's so powerful about it. And that's what's so powerful about it, but it's, uh, and also fucking, uh, I think Aqua from Konosuba, but with her fucking, like, a borderline upskirt, because I think canonically she doesn't wear underwear, because she's a god, of course. She, sort of like, uh, Dr. Manhattan, he doesn't wear underwear. Like it was mostly canonically... She doesn't wear panties because they can't look at your panties if you don't wear any. Yeah, that's right. That's a, it goes to show just how stupid she is. It says waifu over her eyes, though, which is... It's like, oh, this this would not only be great to get some stickers and stuff like this, but also to put them on the, the lamp post that has the other um, stickers, uh, the, the Common America stickers and the Laylee stickers. Um... I'm not sure if the uh, the Aqua one would be fitting because it's like, well, then the people, someone's going to notice it, report it, and fucking just tear all of them down. I don't want that, but... To put up a fucking hidden camera. Yeah. The, the Dr. Thunder uh, stickers, though, much friendlier. Give everyone, give Common America a Dr. Thunder. Give fucking Laylee a Dr. Thunder. Everyone, everyone gets to, everyone you get a Dr. Thunder. Everyone. 
you get a Dr. Thunder, and you get a Dr. Thunder. Yeah, and uh, let's see, there was another one, uh, which I don't have it up right now, but it, it doesn't matter. Maybe I, I might try and find some way, or I might just give him my address. I mean, I don't want to. Um it's not a great idea to give people our home address. Anyone else usually would not be under any fucking threat for anything. But we are, like, some of the most hunted people on the face of the earth. Um, more people want to kill us than anyone else. We're, we're more dangerous than the fucking, um, than, uh, you know, the, the Pentagon leakers or whatever the fuck. Uh, we're the most dangerous, deadly fucking nightmare Nightmare, fucking. midnight niggas. Um, Deadly ass uh, fucking N words. The, the hardest most motherfucking artists. Most dangerous group ringing in your motherfucking ears. Eardrums. Um, but yeah, I I mean, maybe I'll fucking. Ready to attack. I might have a friend who's like, he can send him to the friend and the friend can send it to stuff. Just sort of relay it. I mean, hey, that's what the P.O. Box really should be for, but I don't really have any other justification for a P.O. Box. So. Classic uh, fucking Who song, the relay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't give a shit about sending this guy my uh, my home address Yeah, that's the normally. thing. Is, on the one hand, it's, it's OPSEC, so naturally, yeah. by order of OPSEC, you want to keep in practice. You just but on, like that. The yeah. other, on the other hand, um, it's not like I'm thinking that this is one of those comic skate fucking weirdos. Yeah, or, or you know, any of the other, psych- like uh, some kind of planted psychopath from one of the other YouTube psychopaths that's f- completely obsessed with us. You could tell they're obsessed with us because there's, they say we're obsessed like with that them. For a long time. Because that's yeah, the thing yes. is, for we decades. Go hard. We go hard and people cannot fucking handle it. Mm-hmm. It's been true for years and years. We're just a little too honest. Point. We've been a little too honest. Now and of, that's the of thing. Rolling hard AF. We're, we're a l- always been a little too honest. And that's the thing is that it kind of shows why the STBR community is more objectively moral, um, ontologically moral, I guess you could also say. Ontologically, even perhaps more accurately or aptly, it would be ontologically. Ontologically. Um. But yeah, the uh, uh, like, like I don't suspect this guy would be like fucking. Uh, now, now I have your address. But it's like, it's just the principle now of it. It was a secret uh, con all along. Yeah. Heaven is a secret. People out these wonderful care packages. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if he's clear, here's the thing: he sent them to other people. Clearly, that's okay. Yeah, we're seeing at least. I mean, I can't prove any of this. But it looks it looks solid. I wouldn't send my address over Twitter though, just because it's Twitter. Anyways, I've at this point I've already discussed it with this guy. I'm not fucking waiting for him to see this episode for him to find out. But uh, I gotta say though, those Doctor Thunder stickers, I I definitely want some. Yes, I just want the Doctor Thunder stickers yes. above all. Maybe some fucking anime. You are anime whore stickers. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so yeah, that wraps up, uh, STBR month, which it's been like two months, actually. The, the best kind of months really just gone for like two months. That's why, uh, um, Halloween always might have been my favorite holiday because it's technically just the entire month of October. Although on the verge of being ruined because people now want to turn it into like the Reddit version of Halloween. People yeah, the uh, blackface and complaining about black, spending the entire fucking month complaining about somebody well, and and turning it into fucking... the science month. It's like it's the only one that's not about Jesus Christianity. It's about the science, you know that. Oh, you Hallow's fucking... Eve, you fucking dipshits! Yeah, fucking and just founded dipshits. It's it's again. It's about fucking. It's like one of the nicest times of the year. It's um pleasant. Uh, uh, autumnal leaves lovely um and you know what star trek but racist is just like that somehow star trek but racist is kind of like halloween yes it scares all the right people yes and then it it offends all the right people too and then uh all the cool interesting people are uh happy just in general not not by it but just in general they are happy anyways um to be happy Oh no, trending. What is a woman? 
I don't know. Oh no. It says it's entertainment. I don't know if that's violence, that's the name the name of a movie that's coming out or something, or just people are asking fucking I think it's because of the fucking Amber Heard thing. Uh, women are having a total whinge. They're they're having one of the most ultimate moments of their lives. Their lives? Anyways. Uh, so, uh, again... Uh, people, are, people will eventually realize a woman moment is never just a moment. Yes. It's every single instance it's a life. of their being. Their, their Great Depression is their lives. Anyways, uh, thanks again to the Star Trek But Racist community. The best community. Um, not a movement, because movements are gay. But anyways, the um, uh, thanks again for like the free content for the laughs and the, the lols. The lols and lamaus, and for uh, also for you know uh, helping us out, supporting us uh, in gen- just in a completely general way. Even if you don't donate to our subscribe star, though many people should because it is quite nice. Uh, but you, you get a you lot have to. out of our subscribe star. If you even remotely like this uh, fucking video, I, I subscribe star channel. Uh, fucking it goes so much better. harder. So they hard. So much harder. Yes. They're, they're much better, honestly. Uh, some of our best stuff is in our archives. Yes. Uh, the archives yeah, in, in our subscribe star. Uh, I would rather not. I'd rather make them free, but we yeah. can't. We, we tried. We, for, for years, all of that kind of stuff was free, but, you know, again, fucking, we can and, and, yeah, I would love to make it free. In fact, I would link them to people. If anyone just wanted to be, to be like, oh, can you just link it to me? I'd be like, okay, here it is. I would just link it to them. For free, I don't fucking give a shit about the the pay pig paywall. So, um, but anyways, yeah. yeah uh, actually, that's the thing is, if you're in the fucking STBR community and you just asked for like a link to, uh, how would that work? A link to the video? If it's one of the unlisted videos that's behind the paywall, if it's scheduled, I can't link it because it's private until the schedule runs up, basically. But yeah, um, I would be able to link people to. to I don't give a shit. We were also thinking about just making some of the really oldest videos uh, public. Yeah, yeah, on the on the paywall, the, like videos like from last old, year or something. Some of the years old videos. Yeah. Um, but anyways, irregardless of that, um, thanks, Irregardless. thanks for the support and thanks for the stuff. And, not, and people should check it out on, if you got Twitter. There, there's an actual reason to have Twitter, and this is one of them. Um. And, uh, you know, so also uh, for anyone else, just, uh, yeah, donate to our subscribe star to either just give us money or uh, uh, get access to some nice extra videos. And uh, as usual, should have listened to shitty webcomics.